what's good youtube it's your boy zay man we back with another video man y'all see where we at man y'all see we in the nature with it y'all know this this spot i be coming now uh this is spot i be coming to when i don't be going to the actual park with the with the water but y'all know i got the board with me so we're gonna go ahead and walk down here but how y'all doing man i decided you know what i'm saying i recorded a, a few videos and so i was like yeah it's time to get back into that nature mode, y'all feel me? So I decided to, and this is right by my house, literally right up the street. So why not? And it's amazing out, you feel me? It feel good. You hear the, the bugs the buzzing. You hear the birds chirping. It's good vibes, you know? I got my skateboard, we chilling today too. And I'm in another tank top because it is a heat um, warning outside and it's hot, so. You feel me? It, it's, you know, it's humid out here. So, you know, gotta wear the tank top. It's only right, but you know, ain't nobody be over here. So everybody looking at me crazy, but you know, we over here, we finna make this video. I gotta find the right lighting. Cause yeah, that's, that's perfect. Um, I gotta give me another um, tripod holder. Cause the one I'm holding right now is, it ain't really, really sticking up how it should. But anyway, hope y'all doing good. I want to say, Every video, appreciate the support, man. Appreciate y'all vibing out, rocking out with me. Um, just watching my content, um, commenting some situations that y'all going through life, how my videos is helping, how I'm being a good guy to y'all. And that really means a lot. That means that, you know, I feel more confident just uploading, you know, a whole bunch of videos for y'all because I know some of y'all could truly relate to it, you know? So appreciate all that, all that support. But in this video, we finna talk about, you know what I'm saying? Stop living comfortable. Now you, you be like, Zay, what you, what you mean? You know what I mean. You doing the same thing over and over and over. You say you want to change. You say you want to go work out. You say you want to start this business. You say that, you know what I'm saying? You, you want to start all these new things. You want to try all these new things, but yet you're in a, yet you're comfortable. You know what I'm saying? You got to get out that comfortability. I know it's going to be hard, y'all. It's not an easy task, you know? And, and as soon as you start to try to open up a new business or you got a new idea, the devil going to try to lurk up in there. I told y'all he'd be watching. He a hater. You know what I'm saying? He lurking. Y'all y'all hear the trees. Y'all see? Y'all hear the trees, man. They blowing. You see where we're at. We in nature. But, you know, don't, don't let the devil stop you because he going to be lurking and he going to be hating at the same time so when you got that new venture or that new idea you know what i'm saying listen to your intuition connect with god and may, um understand what he wants you to do how he wants you to take the proper steps to the proper steps to get to that level because the devil's always going to try to intervene intervene always as soon as you got a new bright idea something that could bring you a lot of success the devil don't want you to have all that uh-uh so what he gonna do is he gonna send people in your life you know what I'm saying? They being used to test you through the devil. You know what I'm saying? Is you going to fall back to them temptations? Is you going to start this business that you say you want to? Are you going to work out and not, you know, eat unhealthy? You know what I'm saying? Everything's a test. You know what I'm saying? You got to stop living comfortable. You got to get out the, you got to get out the notion of being comfortable because being comfortable, it makes you go back to the things you did in the past. You have this spark of motivation and then as soon as you want to try to attack it, the devil is going to try to come up out of nowhere and say, nah, you might not be ready or this might not be a good idea. Or do you think you could do it alone? You know, hey, tell the devil to fuck off. You know what I'm saying? Because he going he gonna to always try to intervene. He going to always try to find a way to find a weak spot in you. You know, maybe bring something back from the past that you know, you were addicted to, or, you know what I'm saying? It's always going to be some type of temptation, man. So what you have to understand is when you're around these negative emotions, you got to think of things that are positive. Think of things how it would be if you take this, this job or this role or whatever you do, how it would affect the future, how it would affect the present. You know what I'm saying? What you would do now could bring you possible new opportunities if you start now but if you listen to the devil you listen hey oh bro i don't think you should do that that's not a good idea who cares who cares if you fail 
who who literally cares if you fail that's the whole part of growing that's what people that's what people are so scared of doing that's why people live comfortable i keep telling you guys um if you want to embrace um who you really are and go for the things you want to do you're gonna to have to get out those comfortable those uncomfortable stages because what you what you will understand is these uncomfortable stages are gonna make you who you are you know what i'm saying because it's it, it applies a test of character it applies um through the hardest times where you give up this is when god comes in and he says okay this is when i'm calling you to have faith this is when i'm calling you to be who you are supposed to be you know what i'm saying we all have missions in life some people are not accelerating their mission but don't don't let them get in your head and tell you just because they're not doing their mission and their purpose in life that they trying to stop you from doing yours you know what i'm saying because the devil he's always working he's always working god is always working too but he he in the midst of the seams that will always work he always trying to find a way to keep you down you know what i'm saying but you got to be positive I don't, I don't know who you got in your life right now that's pushing you to be the person you are but disidentify yourself right now look around think you know what i'm saying don't just jump into anything you know use your intuition you know what i'm saying study um learn how to um be profitable in your own life you know what i'm saying stop taking bad advice from other people or taking advice from people that's not doing things themselves in life you know what I'm saying? How are you going to take advice from people that they not even living up to what they supposed to be living up to, their expectations? Huh? Where they do that at? No. You got to start living for you. Get out that comfortable place because you're not going to get nowhere. I'm sorry to tell you. I'm sorry to break it to you. But you will not get nowhere being comfortable. Just think about it. You're, you're on social media. I know you are. You Yeah, you that, that's watching this video. I know you got Instagram. I know you got Snapchat. I know you got Facebook. You see all the people that got success. Do you think for once that they had to take the easy steps to get to where they were? No. They have to go through adversity. They have to go through struggles. They have to go through losing the closest people to their lives. They have to uh, come close to losing hundreds of thousands of dollars to even grow a company or to, to do what they do to make them successful. That should tell you right there that success doesn't literally come in the in the face of being comfortable. You're gonna have to be uncomfortable. You're gonna have to learn how to know how to pick your niches and your spots and what to take in life. You know what I'm saying? Living a comfortable life is only going to keep you in that stage. It's gonna keep you in that stagnant place. I keep telling y'all this. I'm telling y'all this from my experience as well, and I'm battling this as well. That's why I'm trying to tell you. Um, when you guys watch my videos, um. I'm often explaining literally the things I'm going through. Some of you guys are going through as well. So that's why I'm saying some of you guys can, can relate to what I'm saying. So the whole point of this video is to not be comfortable. You want to go back to weed? Don't do it. You're addicted to porn? Quit. There, You got to understand that there's lessons integrated into everything you do. As I told you, everything's a test. And God is watching. The higher power is watching. You know, he would actually literally, he would actually literally send the devil to you to test you to see if you're going to fall back into those same, those same temptations, those same sins. Because you, you, you told God you changed, right? But like I said, God is watching. You know what I'm saying? He watching. So you can't fool him. What he going to do is he going to test you. He going to say, okay, Isaiah really changed? Did they really change? Okay. I'm going to do this in his life again to see if he going to fall victim. Is, is he going to fall back into that trap? Or is he going to learn his new ways and say, no, I can't do it. I can't accept it. I moved on from that. You know what I'm saying? So you have to question yourself right now and ask yourself, are you comfortable in life right now? And if you are, take the proper steps to get out that comfortability because that is what's holding your potential back. You guys need to understand this. This is a really powerful video because a lot of people um, live in the state of being comfortable. Like a lot of people just work the nine to five, go home, smoke some weed, you know, chill, and that's it. And it's day after day after day, it's, there's no growing whatsoever, you know? 
you have to take what they tell you and reverse it and put it into your logic on how you perceive it. Because a lot of people are gonna tell you things in life doesn't mean that's the right thing. You have to take it from your perspective and take it with a grain of salt and say, okay, maybe they were right with this part, but with this part, mm -mm. they told me all wrong. So this is what you have to question. This is when you have to do that inner work. This is when you have to do that shadow work. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling y'all this from experience. You know what I'm saying? I will never lead you guys wrong, but you guys have to understand that being comfortable is only going to allow struggle. It's only going to allow you digging up that past again. You know what I'm saying? You going back to a negative state. So when you're when you're in this state, like I said, call on a God, call on to the angel and say, hey, give me, give me access to what I have to do next. Who do I have to be around? How, how would I have to grow? You know what I'm saying? Or how do I grow? You know, call on a God. You know, he's always going to lead you to the right path. That's what you guys have to understand. You know what I'm saying? God is all for us. Even no matter how many obstacles or challenges he puts in front of us, he's trying to show us the ropes. He doesn't want us to get it easy. That's what the devil is for. <laughs> Duh. You know what I'm saying? The whole point is to literally work, grow, and evolve from the lessons. So when you do come across these lessons again, they're easily integrated, like you can easily master them because you have prior experience. Just like me, I'm an old soul. So I'm so mature at a level because I've been here multiple times. So over time, I've learned to just be so more mature than everyone around me, you know what I'm saying? So no, you just gotta, just gotta weigh out the pros and the cons. Uh, that's the message I wanted to send to y'all today. Like I said, we in the nature with it, man. It feels good to be back outside. Um, these last couple weeks, man, the devil's been getting to me and, uh, you know, trying to keep me down, trying to put me down. And, you know, God ain't going to let that happen to his chosen one. You know what I'm saying? We back in the nature, man. We back. We back, man. I'm trying to tell y'all, man, y'all ain't going to see nothing but some crazy good content from me. Um, I'm sorry if I, you know what I'm saying, I haven't been uploaded. I'm still trying to find balance between my job and YouTube. But we're going to figure it out. I appreciate everybody for watching. Before we get out of here, before we get out of here, uh, English, Zay, where that at? You know what I'm saying? But hold that gratitude. You know what I'm saying? Be grateful for what you have now. Be grateful for what you're receiving. Literally, be grateful. I'm telling you guys, because the more grateful you are, the more God appreciates that you're grateful for what you have, even if it's a little bit because it doesn't matter to him. It matters about what you have, how thankful you are that you even have it. Cause you gotta understand there's people in life right now that don't even have what you have. You think you have little, someone, how, someone else has way more, little than you have. So it's like, you gotta come to a point where you just gotta be grateful. You know what I'm saying? Even if you only got water in your fridge, you got water. Some people don't got water at all. You know, some people don't got food. Some people don't got family. And also keep the faith as well. Not only to keep that gratitude of what you have and everything, but also keep the faith. If you don't have faith, you don't have anything. That's what God leads us by. He, it, it's, it happens in so many different ways. He tests us through faith. So if you don't have faith, then you're already lacking. You gotta have faith. I don't care what you believe in. You just gotta have faith in it. That's it, that, that it will happen, that it will work out. That, that there would be better times, you know what I'm saying? Um, understand that, you know, you can have all these things, but nothing in life is gonna come easy. What I, I'm gonna keep explaining to you guys, nothing in your life is going to be easy. So you're going to have to learn how to decipher a lot of these codes, you know what I'm saying? That the universe is putting in front of your eyes. You know what I'm saying? There are already warnings, there are already signs in front of you, whether you see them or not. You know what I'm saying? It's just up to you to distinguish them and to know how to, to read them properly and what the universe and what the angels and what God is trying to tell you. You know what I'm saying? So you can have faith and have gratitude, but you still are going to, nothing's gonna be easy. That's what I'm gonna tell you all that. So everything that you experience, know that it will pass um, and God is testing you. But it's your boy Zay. I'm gonna go ahead and head out. Peace and love to all y'all. Appreciate all the support. We in nature, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? Make sure one more time. You feel me?
pure beauty, man, pure beauty. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and head up out of here. Peace and love, I'll see y'all in the next video. Thanks for tuning in with your boy Zay. And we go, we out, I love all y'all, I really do.